hi guys so welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos guys in case you're new here karibu sana and as usual don't forget to subscribe and in case you're returning by thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and for my new subscribers thank you thank you so much for joining this amazing platform anyway those people who are new here uh, an update first first thing guys i am on my glasses so this is a story for another time um but i think maybe maybe just give you a brief on how i end up here so um, long story short i've been having problem with my eyesight for the past any for the longest time like ever since i was a child i was in grade six by then it was class six so from there i had been having my glasses but recently I was doing some course and I couldn't even uh, read so that's why they forced me to put on this though it is just something to protect my eyes anyway guys um until today's topic uh, is all about village life I know you're wondering which background I am <laughs> am I at like you know so first thing for I didn't quit my job guys yes i'm still working with the government i'm still going to work as usual and as i mentioned earlier like the village in town the coastal village it's just near like for me i can just rush back to the village you know it's just like a, a, a hundred kilometers so this is somewhere that somebody can commute every day and then and also i didn't permanently I did not like i didn't permanently relocate to the village but after thinking of um, after weighing out i think i am going to relocate there permanently uh god willingly uh, if hopefully things turn out well so so far guys uh my tech at the village life what i've been encountered with first of all it didn't welcome me well let me just not lie uh, my expectation was so high which i didn't receive back so i've learned that you should not have high expectation and i will one day share with you guys those expectations so i've been sick like i've been on off sick on off. i think i even explained in one of my live video if yeah if you didn't watch it so i've been on off sick you know maybe the toilet not the toilet the water especially like i've been suffering with the water because in the village they have bubble water so that has been one of my one of my, my greatest greatest challenge water so that's why i've been not not consistent as i would have been like those people who know me personally you know that i beat the consistency like it's something that i can just do and go in with um uh, second of all uh electricity issues uh guys uh, as i mentioned earlier there is no electricity in the village and this is this forced me at times to have like a backup charger and also when i go there i might have that backup charger but it still goes off with the android users <coughs> excuse <coughs> with the android users i know you understand what i'm trying to say so anyway disclaimer i am still at work it is almost time to end i'll be just bordering a, a public transportation to uh the village so that's why i was like okay let me just share out with you whatever has been happening and you guys you've been my community for those people who have been supporting me i really really appreciate um apart from water electricity and also food yes guys food so while staying in town we were used to these snacks you know we were not used to healthy food i'm not saying that the healthy food is really affecting but you find that the the, the vegetables uh, at the village they are herbs yes they are herbs so um, when they find your stomach is uh toxic like it has been consumed with a lot of uh, the toxic food that we consume in town so when you're taking the the village vegetables the pure pure vegetables in the village it's like they're curing you so i've been having a lot of frequent uh, having a long calls most of the time because of the vegetables as well they have been really really affecting me i just realized that i had this how do you call it 
I heard there's a lot of toxic toxicity. Toxicity. Am I saying the right thing? Yes, that one. I had a lot of toxic in my stomach. So when eating these vegetables, they are uh, clearing my stomach, and hence they are making me to have a stomach disorder. Oh, and you uh, another thing. Uh, we've been having challenges with the firewood. I moved here in the village when it was cold and the main uh, mode of cooking in the village guys is the firewood so you find that a lot of people tend to buy and store because it was raining frequently again now that it's hot people are still not cutting uh, are not like, having that uh, lot of uh, firewood in between and also one thing guys you also have to know a coastal village is not like my home village where by a thousand kilometers from from here so you'll find that it, it's not far like to be honest it's it, the, the villages are not far they're just close you know so those are the few challenges that I've, I've encountered with plus uh i can generally say the people I cannot say that uh, where I was welcome, they welcomed me wholeheartedly. That is my mind. That is my thought. Uh, anyway, guys, sorry for the fluctuation of the light. Uh, it's keep on, you know how the phone behaves anyway. But what I'm saying is that uh, important rather than the light. So I've been also having a, a challenge with, I've also mentioned about the firewood, yes. And another thing, this is going to be a wide topic, but I don't want to discuss about it. It's about the assumption of the traditional cultures, about the witchcraft issues, about the African traditional practices. Uh, the story is out here is so scary. So if if you are really really uh, scared, like you have a a. a if your faith is not that strong, you will fall into that trap and you'll fall into that temptation because uh, we've had a lot of stories, especially in the coastal village, which, no offense, guys, this is something that people normally say. I don't want to say that um, I'm the one who is spreading this out, but this is something which is there. So, especially where I normally go and shoot, there's a lot of those cultural be uh, beliefs. Some are myths, uh, though some have been taken there, though I cannot film. <laughs> yeah, it's people's privacy, so I cannot film such issues, but they, there are people who actually believe in, I am a witness. I've seen, though I don't believe, but I have seen, guys, I've seen how those, uh, how do you call it, witchcrafts, like they have a lot of, you know, rituals, which I believe it is across the, like the, the whole world. This is something that happens everywhere. Uh, rather than that, I've been loving it there. Uh, no stress, no, it's relaxed, calm, no pressure. People are not uh, bothering you. People are not, uh, people are just like, they just let you do your business. Uh, first, first week I was, people are looking at me like, whenever I hold a camera, people could say like, okay, she's talking to herself, what's not happening, you know. But nowadays uh, they're used to it. They are seeing that it's something that maybe I do. They just, honestly speaking, if I may say, these people doesn't know what I'm doing. Again, my light is gone. Um. Honestly speaking, like these people doesn't know actually what <laughs> I'm doing because there is no internet access. That's why uh, most of the time I upload videos when I come to town or I go to the site. There is a cyber cafe there. That's where I do the editing and also uh, the uploading issue because there is no internet there. So yes, guys, that is, it has been fun for the first, for the few months that I've stayed at the village. I've really, really enjoyed and I'm also looking forward to engage myself because they have so many village activities I haven't shared with you yet. I've been just cooking for you. I'm just showing you around, but a lot more is coming. Stay tuned in, guys. Stay tuned in. A lot, a lot is coming. If I say stay tuned a minute, guys, a lot is coming and I want to share with you, like to explore the world. And those people who keep on subscribing, thank you, thank you so much for the support. 
I'll be also going for, I'm planning to get a masterclass for I am Marwa just to uh, learn whatever uh, this YouTube journey because uh, right now this is what I want to fully fully dedicate myself to. Mm -hmm. I've, I've realized like I love YouTube in as much as I'm not getting views but I just love YouTube so I will go in that direction. I want to buy the masterclass but I will be there at the celebration that's one thing for sure even though it's very far but i will still go i've gone there before uh it's not going to be the first time to be in that beautiful nyabuhansi village so let's meet up there and guys uh thank you so much for always hanging bearing with me even if i don't post every day every day but i'll still ensure that a week cannot pass without me uploading so it is 5 30 p.m let me just close my work i haven't quitted my job yet i'm still working um, and i'm not quitting any soon i know i'm not leaving youtube any soon so it was a nice chit chat with you guys i really really appreciate and i guess i will see you in my next video which will be next week probably because this one will go like maybe on a saturday or you'll be watching this on a saturday something like that so see you guys and remember i love you always and remember to be kind you never know what tomorrow entails and always treat people the way you, they are because no one tells how they should be created so in case you have any question feel free to comment down below ask me any question i'll just um update you guys so bye guys subscribe